girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well you will see a little overview in a moment it is mukbang time mum's just popped out so i'm on food duty and for it being halloween of course we had to have some spooky food and by the time we've come around to film this m and s have actually released their halloween food so I'm very, very happy with that. You will see the overview in a moment, but it was three for 12. Mum got two lots. We have some returning favourites, the halloumi fingers and the chicken fried bats. And then we've got some new ones. We've got some pumpkin bowie buns, some witch hat samosas and frightful flatbread face. I don't actually know if it's going to come out like that. We will have to see, but I'm going to whack all these on. And then when we come out, you will see me and mum on the bed as always chatting away and answering all of your questions. See you in a bit. here and you would have seen an overview all of the halloween food is cooked we're still using our paper plates guys with our napkins and everything so as i say the garlic bread actually was a face yeah so we're just gonna <laughs> tear and share that we've got the pumpkin bowie buns we have some samosas which are new good old bats we've got some tempura prawns halloumi fingers and then once dance is done he will be having some bats and pizzas behind camera you'll hear that as well so right get your plate sorted what are you fancying you want a couple of bowies yes please what's in them i didn't look um katsu curry flavorings all right just give me one at the minute then a couple of them fingers a couple one, of samosas no one and a couple of fingers we like them and some yeah. tempura prawns couple please. a couple yeah now there's a sauce here it's called a warming ketchup it comes with oh, prawns oh. It looks like sweet chilli, doesn't it? Oh, that's all right. That should be really nice. Grab one of your prawns in there. Right. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's sriracha ketchup. It's absolutely fine. I've got no drink. <laughs> No, it's alright, it's alright. Okay, that's not too cold, isn't it? Well, it's just a sauce, Mum. You don't know oh, want sauce, okay. Alright, right, let's get in with it, guys, because. Oh, is this normally the Friday night thing? This is your oh, mukbang. Right. Your mukbang. Oh, right. Yeah, I love these. Right. One of the lovely says, My daughter's moving out too, and I've never lived on my own before, but I'm actually quite happy about it. Me too. Oh, thanks. No, but I'm getting used to you being away longer and longer. I'm going to have a wild party when this room's empty. <laughs> I'm going to get my little twins here. Oh, Say, come on, you can come now. Hi, beautiful ladies. Do you ever fall out about YouTube videos or have discussions about not doing some? She's such a diva. No, I'm not. But I, I said I don't like this thing when I'm... You know when you're brushing your teeth and the chicken goes... <laughs> That's what, isn't it? Because when you zoom in on me, I don't like... And Dada can see that I'm putting the weight. I try and tell him I'm losing it, but he's like, mm -mm. After we do a video sometimes, she goes, Oh, I'm just not cut out for this. This is too much. I'm like, Mum, you've done a 20 minute video. It's too much, not tonight. It's too much. Oh, I was down. You don't mind these because you get to eat. Yeah, but I, I was down the, the thing today, yesterday, nothing. Then I had to go again Friday. Because everything come out Friday, the Halloween. Hmm. They're leaving it later and later actually to come out. Yeah. But I wouldn't say we have disagreements. Sometimes it's just like if I'm too tired or mum wants to do something or she's too tired. But we've never argued about actually mm, filming. Mm. I haven't been like, come on, hurry up, we need to film. Because my, we'll my little legs can't go much faster down the road. How much have you got to left? How much have you got left to move from your old room and living room? Not much, is it? I'll probably say like maybe last quarter. 
Or even bolts. less, isn't it? Because you can leave bits here, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I'll leave your decorations in, like, because the back room's going to become a bedroom. So we'll leave that in there. That's not a problem. Which of your senses would you rather lose, hearing or taste? That's hard. Uh, I think hearing. Okay, That's right. hard. Hmm. Hearing. I well, I'd probably say taste. Oh, would you? What, because you could sign? No, but hearing, like, I love music, so you wouldn't be able to hear the beat, people's voices. Yeah, yeah. You think when you have a cold, you lose your taste buds? Yeah. Anyway, you still eat. What was your best year so far and worst? Uh, what, overall? Yeah. Well, probably mine, 1995. When you popped out. The chosen one. What, the best or worst? The best. <laughs> yeah, after all that time. <laughs> yeah, and then the worst year, maybe. Uh, what was that day? Let me remember. I ain't going to say his name. Uh... When I was had over, we'd just leave it at that. But partly my fault as well. Because when you're young, you're gullible, aren't you? You, you think... You might have been mother. Yeah, you... Th no, and also, Shan, when you're sort These of are really nice. 18 or whatever, you think, oh, yes, tunnel vision, you're in love. But it's not till you realise you're older and things happen, you think, oh, what a silly person. Isn't it? I well, should I have, tell you that. I, yeah, I should listen to Grandad more. I'll probably say best year, 2022. Worst year. <laughs> Mum's not putting like... Yeah, yeah. Is that the year? Yeah. yeah, yeah 2022. Yeah, yeah. Was the best year. Yeah. And then the worst year. Have you ever had a worst year? 1995, when you come at me belly. <laughs> Probably 2004, when my granddad died, I was nine. Oh, yeah, granddad lives, yeah, yeah. Probably one of the yeah, worst. Yeah, yeah, because she was old enough to realise, weren't you? Mm. But, yeah. And that was your first death, wasn't it? I still wasn't scared by it. I, no. I was, but I like to see how funerals have come from them, because I had to stand on a box to look at my granddad. Yeah, it was too high. Him, yeah. But, yeah. How about a shop your wardrobe outfit challenge? Okay, well, I'm actually going through my whole wardrobe, so... Oh, so all the things you took, you're going to try on? I'm still going yeah. through it again. Yeah. <laughs> What's no ruthless. good you're going to bring back and I'll take to charity? Yeah. Or what you want, you're going to keep. If they need refresh, bring back and I'll watch. And then right. I've got a separate pile of stuff that I'm going to try and put on for vintage. Oh, right, some yeah. Some bags and bits that yeah. I'm going to try and sell. And Dan's going to have some bits for vintage. So once that's all up, guys, I'll leave the links down below. How in case you, you do wanna... that? It looks quite easy on the TV, doesn't it? I don't know. We've we've literally just downloaded the app and not yeah, done yeah. anything else with it. Yeah. <laughs> Mama love you, says. Oh. I've got a cut in the roof of my mouth and that ketchup's just stinging a tad. Love your YouTube channel. Thank you. When did you both know you wanted to buy a house together? I think the forever house, we're thinking like five years. That will be the forever house. My little one at the moment is just me. That's why it's not perfection. It's just livable. But at the moment, it's livable around boxes. We, we'll get there very soon. <laughs> it's a long it's a long process, isn't it? it is. well, it's only been five months. I mean... Some people are still that doing that. So long. Yeah, some people still doing that like a year after, aren't they? I didn't want to be doing it a year oh, after. No, but like I said, by November, like by the end of the year. It's... Yeah, but don't rush and burn yourself out, Jane. I think if we was closer, it would be easier. But the commuting and all that—that that takes yeah, yeah. the time out. Looking after my parents full time, and I love watching you and Mama G during my quiet time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to have us baffling on in your quiet time our voices will probably get quite annoying but i do hope you enjoy it nonetheless is mama g enjoying and in just adjusting to you flying the nest sending love to you all thank you yes thank you say so she's don't she don't even call me or text me daily i text her no because I, you haven't shown me how to use that thing yet have you <laughs> i'm gonna pay for this thing if you're not gonna show me i'll, I'll get it out i'll speak to her through the doorbell 
yeah, yeah, and give me a heart attack on the on the main thing, you know. Today I'm like, I got a parcel coming. I'm to post my nose like, oh. I'm making press the button now because I like the cackle. I'll change that as a 1st of November to a Christmas sleigh bell if you oh, want. Yeah. He says to me, and you know you charged it up. The two little lights are coming on already. It's I, not dead. No, I was looking for the uh, the orange thing with the uh, charger. I can see it, but I think it's just a, a charging point and you plug the orange thing in, isn't it? Mm. I think that's what I'll, I'll gradually find. Sorry about that, guys. The... um. We're having a bit of quality issues at the minute with the camera. We don't quite know what's happened to it. So I do apologise on that. What are you most looking forward to near Christmas? What, you? Both of us. Um, don't know, really. Mulled wine. Oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? I've already been on the hunt for it. Oh, have you? You've been looking around. <laughs> Still hands down. Lidl's is the best. Do you love a Lidl? last year. Mm. Still love a Lidl. I think with me, just... Uh... And the fact that Bailey's for a litre goes down to a tenner. Well, it's 13 at the minute. That will drop soon. Oh, right. No, Lidl's. The big store, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I'm just going to break this piece. I think with me, up. what am I looking forward to? Nothing really, just uh, the same. You can have your little fibre optic up in here, you'll have all your gonks. I won't be in here if the bed's in here. And unless you uh, show me how to get the TV back on. I'll show you how to put the TV on. Yeah, then I can lay in my PJs and just uh, have my glass of wine or brandy and just lay on the bed, eh? Living the life of luxury, yeah. eh, guys? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be like, I'll be calling her, she'll be like, I'm busy. But like, okay. Missed Mama G for ages. She's back. Where's my bin? Because they've been seeing all the holiday content. You haven't been in the channel for a while. Oh, no. She blocks me out. <laughs> Shannon, can you please explain how you book your holidays and how you get the personal butler and access to certain clubs? So, I just book through Tui, but the hotel that I go through, Boylton, they have a thing called Diamond Club, and the Diamond Club is where you get, like, your butlers, and it's, like, a more prestigious area like you're more secluded there's not so many people around there and yeah i just like it because i think it's a lot more calming you don't get lots of people bish bash boshing no it's very relaxing you'll be okay Mom. no the bowie a bit hot oh that's not hot oh, okay. would you like to try bowie bomb yeah thank you it be lots of lots Oh, and there's his pizza timer. Oh, saved by the bell, Daniel. You've got pizza and mm. chicken bats. All the times. I would frisbee it. Four. Pass it with a little hole. They that, feel that. so funny. Oh, no, I like the feel of them, Dan. Squidgy, yeah, squidgy, yeah. yeah. But it's just a bit... Well, it won't be for you. Mm. Where's Dan's... Uh, Rocket, little men then out there. They're all in the oh, oh, that's right. Um, I like to book Diamond Club because it's just you don't have to rush around booking dinners. I do the premium on Tui, so you get fast track security check in, everything like that, just so it's more streamlined. Yeah, but some of the bills, it's not cheap, is it? Oh, yeah. but I suppose when it's like that return, it's not too bad, is it? Because they say a lot of people are booking their holidays now because Wednesday she's going to put a tax on the flights. That woman. <laughs> we need to get 2025 booked then before she yeah. has a tax. I don't know what's happening with the economy because I really don't. Well, my lovely says, I know you're a busy lady, Shannon, but will you and Mama G do the shots again? They do an advent calendar, which is a drinks one. Well... I think I've seen Advent Calendar oh, right. drinks one online. Oh, yeah, we'd, we'd do that in the new year, maybe, eh? We'll have to do questions and then we'll just pick a random door and drink whatever shots behind it. I'll have a look for Advent Calendar. Yeah, yeah. Shall I have a look as well? Do do, do the shops, little one, how do you do the drinks ones then? I think Boots and that do them as well. 
I'll have a look online oh, right. as well. Okay. So that could be a thing, guys. I'll go we'll up to a... 20. Not the amount you paid on the lush one. When are you going to do that? I want to open the little doors. <laughs> oh, you've just given a spoiler away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know the advent calendar uh, for this year, guys. Yeah. Um, I couldn't get my hands on the perfume shop one. Oh, was that a nice so one? For lush. I had perfume shop last year, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've got lush this year, but I will be actually looking for an advent calendar one then. And we can take it? shots. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll definitely look into that. Someone yeah. said for me and Mum to do a say it or shot it, but of an advent calendar, you know, because I saw a whiskey one for Dan. It was about one hundred and twenty quid. What with twenty four miniatures? Mm. So someone said to do um, an advent calendar drink. So I was like, I could do that because you just pick around the door and you take a shot. That could be a fun video. Well, I saw uh, your video. When you went to the rum market or the thing, you see him there making all the rums. How did you see that? You've been spying on me. No, I've seen the videos a friend. Yet. I've seen the friend. Mm. And there's him going like, mm, mm. and there's you, oh. and then you had neck one and he had a drink of water, and I thought, oh, you've let the side down, Shannon. Oh, you know, there's 26 rums there. I've done about nine. But you know, when you, I think you bought that one that we cracked open, didn't you? Yeah. Some of them was a little bit. Because my friend said, oh, look at Dan. She said, he's had a thing and he's gone. Ooh. I said, that must have been a Now I've got mum stalking me with her friends. What's this? All these stalkers. Because <laughs> people are interested, Shannon. What do you do? I'm actually going to try and get all of the videos put on a DVD for you. So you can just sit there for 10 hours straight watching me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to get some cards uh, out. Because if I'm on the bus and I see people... I can say that's my daughter doing the card. <laughs> Mum's the well, PR manager. Yeah, yeah. I'm the momager. Mum, you're going to be like Chris Jenner, momager. Uh, yeah, but I won't have all them nicks and tacks down. I'm going to be me. <laughs> uh. One of my lovely says, Hi, my face, Mama G. I think I can say it for most of us. We've missed you on the channel. She's back. As you know, thank I, you, my darlings. I was diagnosed as a diabetic not long ago. And they tried me on tablets which didn't agree with me. So they said that they would put me on a weight loss injection. As people are able to buy them, when I and a lot of other diabetics go for the injections, they're out of stock. And that's now putting us in danger. What are your views on this? Do you think the government should stop selling them so easily? Or are they doing the right thing? To me, as long as they keep enough for diabetics who depend on them. Glad you had a great time on holidays. You definitely deserved it with all the moving. Don't know how you did it. Loads of loves. Your no, Irish Colleen. You. I'm good, thank you. No, thank you, Dom. The bats aren't too bad, are they? Just chicken bats. I, I think really that cool. that thing is only for, it should be, the first come is the diabetic people. Yeah, people who need it for medical reasons. Yeah, but the second thing is like a cosmetic procedure, isn't it? Mm. Like, I'm going to eat six bits of pizza in a minute so I can pop at Boots tomorrow and get the old... Dip, 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 dip. No, it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. That's not right. Diabetes is an illness. If you don't get the thing, you can. Yeah, if you need it's it for bad, medical it? reasons, yeah. it should be. Not for cosmetic reasons, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hi, Shan, Mama G, and Dam. Hope you're all well. Thank you. We mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. What is both of your and Mama G's recent reads? I read the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. Well, I've got to the really front of the uh, Diana one. Oh, I, right. I've not got no further yet because I've been watching something on TV. But I'm going to read Diana. Okay. Yeah. And do you read any Christmas books? I have that many that I have to start reading Christmas books in October. Oh. What is a Christmas book? That probably sounds really is, silly. Is it like, is it a Christmas carol one? The Night of Elm Street or, or something, And it? No. The Night of Christmas Came or something like that. The Night it? of Elm Street. That's Freddy Krueger. No, no, it's something night, like that. It's the Night Before Christmas. Actually, yeah, well done, Davis. <laughs> And she said, I wanted to show you the photos of one of my daughter's wedding and the other daughter who had her baby within five days of the wedding. I have my youngest daughter and baby staying with us, and it's oh. amazing as I got to see her be born. She had to have a C-section as the baby would have turned. Oh. Meet Giovanna. Her mum at the wedding is bridesmaid is Bobby, and my other daughter and her husband, Casey May and Al. Oh. Great wedding outfit. Oh, and she lives with her. 
Oh my god, beautiful. Go back. Go back again. Now look, who, who does that resemble? Now that looks a bit like Brogan, but Daniel, because he's tall, isn't he, with the beard? Mom, but just because every man is tall and has a beard, I've got no idea what this camera is doing. <laughs> but we will see. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, look at her in that dress. <laughs> right. So it's lovely pictures, whoever that was. Lovely. One of my lovely says, a separate question. I watched your video where you mentioned about times where you struggled with eating when you was younger. Did you ever consider you may have had an ED or speech to a therapist? I didn't speak to no therapist. And maybe borderline, but I think, as bad as it sounds, I think in this day and age, every person goes through that. Not just women. I think men, there's a big thing at the moment with EDs. Because... What's that? ED. Oh. I don't want to say any words yeah, in case yeah. it triggers people, but yeah. I think it's not just women nowadays. I think it is men as well because yeah. there's a lot of like media and they want to be a certain way and like men seem to be having more cosmetic procedures sometimes than women. Um, I think it's just a phase. I With say you, a phase though, it, it was more do. sort of when you was younger. I think the only thing I knew that you did not was prawns, wasn't it? Yeah, because you just used to go Ugh, and not eat them, but now you eat them every single prawn going. I think everyone goes through like body image stages as they're growing up and how they deal with it is each to their own. I may have done things that I wouldn't do now as I'm older and I wouldn't Me neither. advocate for someone. Mum was in the same boat as younger, mm. so it's just you go through cycles um, but don't get me wrong, I still have down days sometimes where I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have ate that big bag of Cheetos. And, re and really, also, I wouldn't get in that mindset. When again. you're young, don't do things just to impress a man. Mm. If you're a little bit sort of self conscious, don't do things to think, oh, that man's going to like me more. Yeah. That's not good. But, um, no, I didn't speak to anyone. I just kind of done what I did. Um, but you made up for it now. You were normal, weren't you? It's not normal, but I have a better relationship with food now. Yeah, yeah. You like you like, like everything and you eat everything, don't you? I still go through blips though. Like mm. there will be days where like I just I won't eat or I won't think, but you won't eat nothing. I can go a day like I won't eat, but I don't get allowed that now because I have someone who checks up on me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and you're mad because I don't <laughs> eat my meal till late at night. As long as you eat, I think like. But I could like if we had something at breakfast, that would do me the whole day. If it was a big meal. No, even, what did I have one day? I had a cheese and bacon turnover at like half seven in the morning. Right. It got to our lunchtime and I was like, yeah, I'm still full up. Oh, right. But you have to eat because I've been there where I've survived on like three, four hundred calories a day and it don't do you insides no good. No. One of them says, I know it might be too soon to discuss, but what are your thoughts around what happened to Liam Payne? Things are still unravelling currently. New things are coming out. I was personally quite shocked and wasn't sure if it was real at first because of the many stories coming out. It was only until BBC News reported it that I realised it was true. I feel like there could be foul play in that. Yeah, yeah. Because there were two people in the room, weren't there? There's just too much. Because in, in the newspaper, I know you can't always read, but he was going to marry that girl. Hmm. And the letter... Yeah. So I think they was together, together, isn't it? They were on TikToks together and you could see they were pretty happy. Yeah. And I know he says like... And on that night or the day before, he was at the concierge, wasn't he? No. Yeah. And I think he was very close with his boy. I think that's the correlation that I don't understand because he was very vocal with Bear and with Bear he wanted to be there as the role model. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they will find that out, won't they? No. It, it'll get all investigated. Needs to. Yeah. Because I see because his family anybody... went out there and his dad tried, the, tested the balcony strength to see, like, how we were, and they were saying, oh, don't do it. And he was like, there's no way you could just fall off that. So, I wouldn't... So do they reckon he's been aided and pushed? I don't know. I wouldn't like Ooh. to speculate because no. I think 
when I saw it, I thought it was fake. I can't lie. When I first saw it pop up, I was like, and then I saw it on Daily Mail, and I was like, shit, that's real. And he's so young, isn't it? 31. Yeah. yeah. So, but how can you be normal with that day before or that evening? Anybody could have put that paraphernalia in that thing like that. That's the thing. It, yeah. The setup looked very staged from yeah, the pictures. That he was back on the old stuff, wasn't it? But the truth will come out. Yeah. In the end, my lovelies, the truth will come out. You imagine the funeral, though. But I think they said it could be up to ten days. He has to stay out there. He's still not home. He's not patriotic yet, is he? Because no. they won't release his body. If you only had to wear black clothes for the rest of your life or bright colours, what would you choose? Maybe bright for me now. Oh, would you? No, I'm getting into it. I'd say bright colours. Mm. Black. Definitely. Oh, here we are. Would you ever go roughing it camping or would you only agree to it if you could be glamping it up a bit? If you could see Dan's face behind this right now, because this is something he Just wants so to get I me. Just so I did not write this. <laughs> I'd, I'd like <laughs> sending it in under I'd like, to go, I'd like to go glamping, but I don't know if I'd like camping. Why? Because if I, was, if I felt something underneath me, <laughs> uh -uh, under that scram sheet at night, I'd be thinking, oh. You might lay down and not be able to get back up. Of course, then, yeah. <laughs> Unless you now they have a quiet night. <laughs> Unless they've got a winch there. Um, right, I've never done camping. My idea of camping is a log cabin. Yeah. Which isn't camping. Nowhere near camping. Dan has bought a four bedroom tent because he loves camping. And next year, he's adamant we're going camping. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, four bedrooms, everyone. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yep. Oh yes, it will. Three o'clock in the morning, Dad. <laughs> I don't. Does it comes up, Dad? Yeah. You want to be near the shower block, don't you? Oh, see, right. That's my thing. Okay, that's my thing, guys. I. What's that? The showers? No, I, I couldn't do communal showers or toilets. Well, shouldn't you? You don't know why staying there like that. There's doors. It might say communal just... shower, but you don't know staying there and do the old undercrackers and all that, looking at each other. There are doors. I wear a mask bar. Yeah, there's no bath, darling. I can't lie. The person we knew on the track on the uh, side, they had a bath. Cyril. He had a lovely big caravan, and he had a proper bath in there. Proper bath in this. I knew a caravan yeah. with a bath, and I yeah. go into. Oh, see, that's another thing. Dan wants to take me in a caravan. I've never been in a caravan. My idea of a caravan is a log cabin. No. You were seen a caravan when you were tiny, that picture, wasn't it? Well, when I was 18 months old, I don't Two. remember that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've never really been into, like... For me, a log cabin is, like, as roughing it in the forest as Rough I am. Like, right. Him. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel next year there might be some interesting vlogs coming with potential camping, glamping... Outdoors things. You actually might see, well, they actually might see you lose your rag. I would just, I I'd you, be like Nikki from the, Big Brother. <gasps> <laughs> have you been in the teepee? Oh, no, yeah, I was slumming it. Yeah, yeah, not slumming no. it. The shepherd's hut. Yeah, that's the teepee you went in, wasn't it? Yeah. That was like the little Peaky Blinders <laughs> caravan. Oh, I thought it was a thing in a tree. No, we haven't done a tree Oh, house oh tree house, that's what I mean, yeah. So that's, for me... That's the same as a caravan, just a really squashed version. What, tree has? No, the... Oh, right. Log cabin. Yeah. No, the shepherd's heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the log cabins are really nice, aren't they? They are. They're living in a minute. They're very luxurious. Yeah. I love my log cabins. Um, Mum said the birds put in tax up on flights Wednesday, so we might have yeah. to look at booking 2025's holiday in the next 48 hours. It's <laughs> called something passenger duty. Passenger duty? It, is that, like... It says short haul is something, seventeen pound or something. Long haul, long haul, you pay more, but it's called a, a thing that goes on your holiday, a passenger duty or something. So they used to have the single person's tax, and that, now she wants to try and get away with uh, making the old people pay for their prescriptions. No. Yeah, getting rid of the bus passes. And she wants to put seven or eight p a litre on petrol and diesel. And she wants to bring in paper mile. 
which I said oh. we do a 120 mile round trip every day. We wouldn't be playing that. Well, that's all right if it's only like 5 p.m. mile, then. No, they were speaking. It could be up to. Oh. Guys, guys, I'm so sorry. We are going to sort this camera out. It keeps overheating apparently at a certain bit. We've just got no idea. Um, Apparently, it could be up to 15 p per mile, which no. for us would be almost four and a half grand a year to travel to work. So I was like, no. Oh my God. Who knows? It's all speculation, but. Mm. But in terms of it, I feel I'm going to have to rough it and go camping next year, guys. I, I feel that's been... Place, you, you don't get that in a caravan. No, that's all right. <laughs> mm. If you weren't in your current jobs, what job do you think you'd be good at and also enjoy? I always say mine would be like marketing and social media, like photography, videography, that whole creative side. No, but you wanted to be a multi man, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to do that now? I'll do it in barming. Yeah. But if I could literally just go into another job now without training, I could go right. into marketing and that. Because you've got the exams now, haven't you? Mm. Oh, right. You, if you was working? Um, I'd like to be looking after little babies. I imagine you was a dinner lady. Yes. yes. Or a lollipop lady. Yeah. <laughs> a bit, bit like Nanny Dole when was little. She used to be a dinner lady. I used to flop round her like little uh, Nanny McVee. Oh, no. That's what I could see mum being doing. Well, I'd like, I'd, I'd like to be a summer girl. You're too old now. I know, but if I was younger, well, I wouldn't want to give them I wouldn't say that's a job. That's a lifestyle, wouldn't it? No, I'd like to, yeah, job to help people have babies. You'd have to give the babies back, mum. I don't know. <laughs> so you couldn't trust that. Is there a destination you've been to that you would never return to? Oh, that's a great question. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I ain't really been far either. Anywhere in the UK or? Uh, it's hard. Not really, because everywhere I've been or I've been brought up is all right. I don't know. A destination I've never returned to. <coughs> You've been to that show. You can't really disrespect the place on, on camera though, can you? No, it's your opinion. Yeah. Mm. Somebody could have gone there and had... An amazing there. time, yeah. 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 Somebody could go there and it ain't for them, isn't it? That's right. Um, I've never come away from somewhere and thought I'm not going back there. Because it's always nice. Hmm. Yeah. You? I'd say Turkey. But yet mum oh, loves Turkey. So this one I mean. Really? But I don't like it when you're walking down that bed and you're to buy a bitch. There you go. Oh, but nice. I do like it for the heat. You go either, like yeah. the heat. Yeah. Um even at night too hot, isn't it? Yeah. I don't I wouldn't go back there. No. Can you imagine mum in um St Lucia? Yeah. By the pool, one of them. Oh, she'd things. love having the butlers bring her a beers and Big all old that on. Oh, oh, they do bring you beers while you lay there. They bring yeah. you food, your burgers, oh. everything. And if you ask, they take the tops off as well. Do they? Mm. <laughs> Gas on. <laughs> Point of them, Heineken, whatever. <coughs> what is the most childish thing you still do? Have a blanket. Blanky hasn't actually been with me for a long time. No, now. I know. He's over there, isn't he? We're weaning her off, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Mine's probably when I do a picture, I do the... That's my classic, oh, though. Oh, God. That is 17 again. Yeah. I would do so, but I, um, you might get demonetised, so I ain't going to do it. You're going to be swearing or something. No. Making a gesture. Yeah, no real gestures, no. please. Your childish thing is probably when she comes in... If she's had a drink, she starts catcalling the neighbour next door because she wants her asbo. And then I catch her on the um, resort yeah, bill. Yeah, she, goes, that's... she goes, no, I didn't. I'm like, Mum, I can see you. What about that day when you was at work and you said to that lady, listen to Mum, she's walking up the road. I can hear her. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, what are you doing? Nothing. I was like, Mum, I can literally hear you through the doorbell. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I was like, I've literally just heard you. I was like, okay. What are the top three things that stress you out? Rude people, okay. Ignorant people, okay. And uh, just general people. 
<laughs> no, just general people that are, that are not nice people. Mine would be arrogance. Yeah. Pompous. What Someone who's pompous, what's, I can't stand. What's that mean? Pompous, like big headed, big oh, eye. Oh, am. right, yeah, yeah. And. Oh, I disrespectful. Say, yeah, I, I can't say, do with say, disrespect. I can't say that again, neither, because you'll have to wipe it. We're going to have to do an X rated version of just Mama's Rage. Yeah, it's be demonetized. Yeah. What would you say, three things that stress you out, darling? Uh, a nagging girlfriend. Yeah, I didn't do that. No. Oh, what? No. No, no, you, you switch back that. to the thing. I didn't do that. <laughs> no, I could deal with that. Uh, Bolshiness. This, I can't. I can't stand disrespect. Yeah. Um, the arrogant people that. Well. What's that? Or oh, people think they're better than you, Dad? Yeah. Something on your shoe. Yeah. I like people like that, especially when you meet them. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Give them Georgie handshake. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably just say... It all depends when you work. meet that person, doesn't it? Yeah. You either take to them or you don't, doesn't it? See, I'm very open-minded when I meet people. Oh, my. Very... Thinking they I could progress all right. I stand off, but I'll talk to you, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. I won't say too much of myself. I'd just rather hear yeah, about all you. about you. And, and if yeah. it's me, 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 you think they're you another person. They're, they're yeah. another person. Yeah, self-centred. Self-centred, yeah. Ones that, um, you know, when you when you turn around, just in conversation, you'd be like, oh, I've gone such and such. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. Or, yeah. Yeah. oh, I've got, I've got this. Yeah. Oh, I've got that. I've got rid of it, though. Yeah, yeah. I have you can tell mum and dad just ain't people, people. We are people, people. No, so it, it, it's like, and it say, oh, I, I had a Bentley. Oh, yeah, I had one. Then the convertible, but it didn't go fast enough. Yes. <coughs> well, up you then. Exactly. Oh, exactly. sorry, viewers, you shouldn't have to cut that out. We sit here in here. We sit here yeah. in here having a right little yeah. natter. Don't yeah. worry about that. We do the shop thing with Dan, with us, like all of it, isn't it? <coughs> <laughs> Would you ever chat up a stranger? Yes. If you were single, obviously, and Mama G, even if she's not interested in a man right now, would she have done back in her day? Oh, yes, yes. I wouldn't chat, I wouldn't talk to people. Oh, I was very outgoing when I was younger, because I was a beautiful woman. But look at what's happened there. I've got the turkey neck. <laughs> I've got the suitcases. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. You That picture you, you saw when I was 30, wasn't it? Now I say, Evan, you went to me, oh, Mum, you looked all right, then. <laughs> I still think you, Shannon. I don't know what happened after I was um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you looked all right, Mum. I said, thank you, Shannon. That was 30. I'm now 65 nearly. Wouldn't you? I, I might maybe have to go. But when we used to go out, like, from where I worked to the pub next door, every Friday night, that used to be the thing from sort of, like, half five until it, sh it shuts and then we all go home or whatever. You know everybody in the thing, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, like JJ's, you know everybody in there, don't you? So we would have a few beers and then the beer goggles come on and then they, they come over on the table and like, oh, how are you, how are you getting over? Oh, we are just walk oh, right here. Yeah. Terrible. And we walk up to Nanny Golders and then everybody branches off, like, you know. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? My weight. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't going to be too bothered um, about that, viewers. I'd, tr I'd try to be more... Not say understanding and sort of. I was gonna. No, I was gonna say forgiving, but that's not me. No. Mine, I'm very. I can go stone cold within a blink of an eye. Yeah, well, you could. That's probably not. Yeah, good. No. Like as, my, as my therapist said, that's a coping mechanism from a troubled childhood. So just blame mum and dad. I like that. A troubled childhood? <laughs> Who said that? That was what my therapist told me from Better Help. Well, you better get her on it and give me her phone number, mate. You didn't have a troubled childhood. I had a troubled childhood that I was suppressing <laughs> bad thoughts. That's why I find it so easy to cut people off. Well, blow me down. I'll get her struck off. <laughs> she had everything she wanted, viewers. Everything. And I mean everything. Clearly not a loving home. So it caused me trouble. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Full-time mum. <laughs> God. We went without food to give you the best. You put me on. You put me in the cupboard under the stairs and shut the door on me when I was Oh, an one time. I'll never let her forget oh, that. God, I'm, I'm <laughs> on my deathbed, right? She's gonna be. 
I'm gonna be. Oh, Shane, I love you. Yeah, but remember you put me in the cupboard. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> God, oh, Arrow, was you two, three? No, I was about four or five. I was going to a party. Cool. I had Charlie's party. I went and upset Billy. And yeah. No. You wait till your father gets home. What happened when Dad come home? Mum got shouted at. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. I did get shouted at. <laughs> No one puts me in the cupboard on the stairs. No. No one puts baby in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most unforgettable meal you've had whilst travelling? Our oh, mine's got to be the beach dinner. You like that? Unforgettable. Yeah. Mum was going in the next town and then sitting in with the door open having palm mash. <laughs> that's about... <laughs> well, that's because I travelled, never. I would say for us, it would have been when we went Greece, we had to go down to the Mr. Amos on the seafront with the prawns. Oh, yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? What about London? Yeah, you yeah. You ventured yeah. up that way, didn't you? Yeah, but uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just ruin your bubble. So, you know your um, Enamo and Gordon Ramsay that I've got you for Christmas? I yeah. was going to book them. Yeah. Um, Enamo's fine, but they've stopped the Gordon Ramsay bottomless beef. <laughs> oh, that's good. But we have an East End. I don't know. I've bottomless got prosecco. No, I've got to rebook something with you. There's no more bottomless pizza. What's that? Because somebody <laughs> that's like somebody keeps going in this. He's been out of pocket a bit. Oh, wait, when did I get them last Christmas? Yeah. So we've got a, we've got to book a Namo before next February. Which one is that? Is that the spooky one? We'll go Covent Garden. Up the alley. Yeah. All right. Where you do the table. That's it. Right. And uh, Gordon. We've got to rebook and change that. So we can't go to Gordon. You can, but you just won't pay what I paid on the Virgin Day. Oh no, we aren't going to do that then. No, let's go. Will. Let's go to my, Mr. Pierre then. Oh no, we're going to him one day, aren't we? I've got Down one of them sitting. Yeah, we got one in June when there was an offer. That's sitting. Yeah, there. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, a lot more thing. Oh, that's blowing me down. She, her one would be Marco Pierre. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Is there any food that you've never eaten or that you'd refuse to even try? Yeah, I, think, I feel like I could be like that with like Wilkes or Wilkes because that just gives me trauma from granddad when little, I was little. Little small Wilkes are nice. I don't think I could have the big thing. But mm. you know where you get them uh, on the celebrity and they have them fish eyes? Yeah. And you pop it. I don't think I could like that. What about the trends that go around on like uh, Facebook and uh, TikTok where they have like the uh, fermented fish and all that type of stuff? Oh my God, we've got to get that one for mum. No. What's that fermented fish? What's oh, that? These people gag even just trying to open the it container. It smells like dog. Yeah. Oh, oh I've got to get that. That could be a Christmas video. Oh, oh God. But only if you eat it as well, then. We'll eat it in the garden. Right at the back of the garden. Yeah. What, well, just well a teaspoon each? Teaspoon? Oh. 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 I don't know if you'd be able to do that. Oh. Oh, it's not very good. Mm. Oh, right. I would, I would, would, oh. not touch, would not put yeah, it to I my lips. Yeah, I don't think I'd oh. do that. What is your mm -hmm. biggest insecurity? Mine's probably my weight and my face. And your face? Yeah. Well, you can't do much about your face, can you? I can. I can get filled with filler. Pack oh, no. But all that shit. I mean, sorry, viewers. Uh, mine, insecurity, maybe. Your turkey neck. Your turkey neck <laughs> or, or being alone. <laughs> you notice, I'll tell you what happens now. What? While you ain't here. I shut the door, right? I take the key out. But guess what I don't do now? Cause you I don't think, put the train across? No, no. Cause you I'll, should put the train no, across. No, because I think if lying, I'm lying there and I have... <laughs> and you're ringing and you can, you can get in with the key. If the chain was there, oh, God, then straight. I'd have to kick the door in. That wouldn't take... No, 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 I know. But no, I, I don't put the chain on. <clears throat> Great. If you could have your 15 minutes of fame, what would it be for? Mine would be my vlogs, just entertaining. Mine would be... Yeah, I've got my Stop it. Mums would be a vengeance. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mum would be a vengeance. Yes. <clears throat> oh, God. Mama G, how are you doing at night on your own? As if it's like me, I've never been on my own longer than a week. Shannon, I know a house is what you've always wanted, but did you think it would be as hard as this? Love you both loads. Thank you. No, I didn't think it would be as blooming hard as this. And, uh, and as I... you tell, she's just fine on her own. She didn't even put the train across. No, no, I I'm a right, man. Mind you, though, if I did hear something in there, I, I don't know what to do because I've moved the uh, little thing that Dad got me into the shed, but I think I might have to bring it back if I heard a noise. 
And then the last one says, my question is this, regarding your channel, I honestly don't know how you managed to fit all the content in while holding a full-time job, moving house, doing renovations. So I know, well done. I know. Thank you. I know, I'm <laughs> busting at the seams, viewers. I'm busting at the seams. I really think you could do this channel as your full-time job. And would no. be, that be something that would appeal to you? If I could get the wage and equate to it, of course, I would yeah. hand in and do this 10 by 10. You could have Shan and Dan in a camper van tours around the British Isles, <laughs> reviewing food, distilleries, farm shops, historic buildings, etc. Plus your log cabin trips and maybe wild camping. Dan and you pitching up a tent on the moors. God, that would be eventful. Oh, I would love that. that. Would actually on the be moors? Eventful. Yeah. Still keeping Stick the moments with Mama G, scandals and cooking. And anyway, I hope to continue to build your channel and wish you every success. Lots of love. Thank you very Thank you. much. Oh, bless her. And with that, it's my lovelies, that is a wrap. That is October done. What would you say your favourite bit of food was? Uh, the prawns. Yeah. And uh, that. The bats. Yeah, but I did like him. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to snack on this after me and Dan are probably going to watch an episode of Brassic. But guys, if oh, you did enjoy the video. Have we with uh, Michelle Keegan? Yeah. Is that the... Uh, Emmerdale man. Man Manchester thing, Brassy. Oh, right. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, if you want to get involved in these videos, check out on my Instagram or send me an email down below and you will always be included. But take care. Stay safe as always. Mum is already clearly wanting to get off the screen. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.